The Ezekiel Bates Masonic Lodge is undergoing major renovations. The renovations will include sealing of the exterior stonework, a paint job to most of the building, and restoration of a pipe organ. Attleboro Freemasons will perform most of the work to the nearly 100-year-old lodge. We spoke with William Richards, master of the Ezekiel Bates Lodge, to learn more about the upcoming renovations. My name is Bill Richards, and I'm the master of Ezekiel Bates Lodge in Attleboro. And what we're going to be presenting here today is give people a view of the inside of our building and give them an idea of what we're trying to do among with restoration work uh, and bringing the building back to its original glory. The building was built in, begun in 1929 and the construction continued through 1931 with the building being 85 years old. When it was built, there were just some technologies were not available to them back in that time. It's so, you know, we, we need to seal the stonework on the outside to stop moisture coming through the walls. Again, on the outside, the stonework needs to be repointed, the mortar is starting to rot. And as the moisture in the water seeps in through the gaps and through the unsealed stone, it's causing damage on the inside. It, it results in plaster uh, loosening and falling off the walls. Paint is starting to peel, and uh, the, the members of the lodge are, we're trying to get ahead of the damage that's been done through just, you know, shall we say, uh, deferred maintenance, where brethren perhaps in the past didn't do due diligence and go the extra step to help preserve what was going on. And for the most part, it is the volunteer effort of the brethren. Uh, the work that's being done in and about the lodge uh, is, you know, coming out of the pockets of the brethren, uh, or just they're rolling up their sleeves and getting here to do the work. Uh, hence why I'm sitting here in a t-shirt. <laughs> um, it's, uh, we're, we've done as much of the work ourselves as we can, but unfortunately there's some things that must be done by experts and professionals and that costs money. A, a lot of our money comes from private donations, from individuals who donate money directly to the lodge. But we also are trying to do fundraising. Um, we, uh, we've been hosting uh, the Attleboro Community Theater, and that brings in, uh, helps bring in a little bit of money for us. Uh, you know, it's uh, within Masonic events, so we are trying to start up activities for the public where people, you know, in, in opportunities you know, that to work with money, such as having a local dance for the youths of Attleboro, and, you know, perhaps, you know, maybe, if, you know, flea markets. A lot of the brethren are throwing out a lot of great ideas. And we're, we're looking forward to activating a lot of these ideas and get them into play. Uh, we are a charitable organization and asking for money for ourselves is, is always difficult. It, it, it's just not in our nature. Uh, if anyone approaches a Masonic Lodge and you wanted to donate a certain amount of money to that lodge and said, I want this going to say the Shriners Burn Hospital for Children or to a community program, in the name of the Lodge, 100% of that donation will absolutely go to that request. There is no, you know, 15% uh, administration fee. It's if you brought us $1,000 and says, I want this going to the Shriners Burn Hospital, I guarantee you $1,000 will be going to the Shriners Burn Hospital. Not one penny will remain in this building. One of the primary ways that we raise money is when individuals donate the money to the Lodge specifically. And if they said, we, I just want this going for general use to the lodge, then it would go into you know, our general accounts. But if they said, you know, I want this money to go towards repairing the organ or to fixing stonework or to help paint the lodge, that 100% of that money will go specifically to that request. You know, it's, we don't do any of this playing around where some goes in one pocket, some goes in the other pocket. The museum, uh, the idea behind this was by Brian Simmons. And the idea is to promote the history of masonry in Attleboro and show people just all the connections that Ezekiel Bates Lodge had with the community of Attleboro for uh, almost 150 years now. We are looking for items that, you know, if people had family members who were members of masonry, they might have little, uh, little trinkets or bits of jewelry that may have Masonic symbolism on it, the square encompasses and a few other odd symbols that go with it. And if you have something like that, uh, do you like to donate it to the museum? It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, one of the things that I, I would say any lodge anywhere looks for, what we call past master's jewel. It's a square encompasses that tends to dangle from a bar that has the name of a lodge on it. It signifies this individual that wore it as a, a past master of the lodge. And often, uh, for the most part, these are owned by the lodge and they are given to the brother 
as, as loan for life, and upon the death of the brother, it's supposed to be returned to the lodge. Well, often we get into a situation where, you know, it might be an uncle or grandfather, and nobody remembered or knew that he was a Mason. You know, many of the older brethren were very private about it. And uh, so they find this strange little key bob, you know, a little pocket jewel, and they don't know what it is, and it goes into a cigar box somewhere, or often we find them on uh, flea market tables and so on. And I would tell anybody, if you find one of these, bring it to any Masonic Lodge, and we will do everything we can to try and return that jewel to the lodge that owns it. We have a website, it's EzekielBatesLodge.org. People also curious about masonry in general can also go to MassMasons.org, and there's some information on various lodges in the state and so on. When we have a major event going on, we will advertise in the Sun Chronicle. We also have a small sign that's out front where we put various events. A lot of times people drive by, they'll see the announcements for the various plays that Attleboro Community Theater puts on during the year. And between shows, we'll have Masonic announcements on it. So each lodge represents a community. And part of that is, is to support the community. Uh, masonry has always been fairly low key. And you know, many years ago, we, people tended to forget we were around, but we're still here. Uh, it is very important to us to support the community, uh, to be a part of the community. We have uh, an open house in October. With the open house, it will be advertised on radio. You'll hear it a lot on NPR. It'll be, uh, there'll be an ad in the Outer Sun Chronicle paper. And everyone is welcome to come in and take a look around the building, see for themselves what's in here, and hear a little bit about what masonry is and why we are here.